Right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter, those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but... two of the best fighters in this division. It's hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Pretty good straight punch there by Felder. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the bottom. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Felder's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice sneaky head kick. Try to establish that jab. Nice fade back right hand, my goodness. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. He blocks the punch. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Felder. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 
Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. What a punch. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Hands higher, hands higher. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Real sneak by the feet. And they separate. Good punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice single. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and is going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And they separate. Effective punch there by Felder. Second round, straight ahead. Whoa, 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 whoa. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round, and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Punch is blocked. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. It's such a fast leg kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Great punch. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Felder's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, he got that photo to target very quickly. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Good punch, Lance. Beautiful combination there. Good shot there to land the takedown. Nice shot by Felder. See him put himself into the half guard. Life to control, yep. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Back to the feet now. 
Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Joy gets caught with that punch. Head kick lands. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just misses with the right. Big kick lands. The Korean Superboy gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Wow! Just misses with the straight right. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Felder gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. And they separate. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. And he's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick. All I can think of. Better him than me. Straight to the body by the Korean Super Bowl. Felder gets caught with that punch. Oh! Huge right hand! What a round. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Sneaky head kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Joy gets caught with that punch. Beautiful body kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, big left. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice strike. Oh, collar tie. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. How about that shin?
and he landed the right hand there. Nice punch by Choi. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Can't take many of those, you better check. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, single collar tie now. Nice. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Felder. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Beautiful. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Felder. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man oh. Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big head kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, big head kick land. Got the single collar tie. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy. I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights, ignoring those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Oh, nice. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Beautiful strike. Ten seconds to go. Oh! What a fight so far. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Felder. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Unable to connect with the right. Nice kick. Ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space 
to land these beautiful grounded bomb combinations. Felder gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Big head kick lands. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Fantastic take down lane. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Side control now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, outstanding knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow it up. Certainly using his length well in this one tonight. Big leg kick lands. Big kick lands. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Two minutes to go. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, that's a good right hand. Just missed with the left there. Overhand right. Swing and a miss. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that oh, straight oh, hand. Oh, oh my gosh, perfect execution on the Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook now. Let's see if he can submit his opponent. Absolutely incredible. Oh man, that was slick. Looking to land the right just out of range. Take down there by Phelps. Take down, cut. Take down, cut. Over and over. He secured the takedown. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Nice punch lands over the top. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Huge block there. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Felder goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Oh, big punch land. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Back and forth we go. Oh! And what a round! All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays, and if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. 
He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. Choi gets caught with that punch. Beautiful leg kick throw. Just out of the range with that right hand. with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. decision is in. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, four seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Duho Chong. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And